Oh, you left them hanging, Jimmy. Sorry, Come man. on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. My bad. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, y'all came in as rookies together. So, uh, what was it like seeing Jose had that game and in New York the, the way he did the other day? Man, it made me feel good. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, Jose, he's been waiting. He's been, you know, working uh, every day uh, for that moment. Uh, I mean, and like he said, who who would have known? You know, going back to New York in the Garden. Uh, where he's from to have a game like that, it was almost, uh, you know, I know it was a dream come true for him, but to see it unfold like that, it was beautiful. What do you, you've, you've been with him since summer league. I mean, you've, you've, you've kind of seen it for, for a little bit longer than other guys. What, I mean, what, what have you seen from him that has kind of led you to believe that this, I mean, this, that he could do this? And he and never goes away. Him. He never goes away. Uh, offense, if his offense isn't flowing, we know we can depend on, on the defensive end. Uh, he can get us in the offense. He, he's going to take good shots and create uh, good shots for other people. So I knew he was going to be solid. It was just a matter of time before, you know, he could show. From, from one defensive player of the year to another defensive player of the year, how, like, what, have you, what have you done? Like, what, have you picked his brain about defense? What have you kind of picked up from him on that side where, where you can kind of see some things? Um, like I said, he never goes away. Uh, and he's always in your face. Uh, regardless, he's going to make it tough on you. You know, he might not steal the ball. Uh, he might not, you know, get the steal or get a block, but he, he's going to make it tough. And it might, you know, allow somebody else to get a steal or a block uh, for the team. I um, mean, that's what I picked up. I had, haven't really asked him many questions. I just observe and, and try to pick, you know, pieces that I could use on my in my defensive abilities. Herb, would you say he's a more tenacious defender than even you? <laughs> more tenacious? Uh, you could say that. I, I feel like he talks. He definitely talks a lot more than me when he's playing defense. Uh, so yeah, I give him that one. <laughs> that, uh, that third quarter in New York was, you know, up there with any 12-minute stretch you guys put together this season. Just what do you think you, you guys did well then? Uh, we executed really well, uh, ran our stops, and competed on the defensive end. I think a lot of uh, our success came from, you know, getting stopped and getting on the transition. And, and for you personally, like the offensive numbers picked up a little bit. Just just how comfortable are you feeling the offense out there? And what's just kind of the mindset, you know, being out there with guys like Devontae and, and B.I. and J.V. just kind of fitting in around that? Yeah, I just try to, you know, compliment those guys and take pressure uh, off of those guys when they when they need me to. Uh, knock down shots and cut, you know, to, to get those guys open. And I mean, it's super fun to, you know, be playing against. I mean, playing alongside those talented uh, guys. Uh, J.V. can score, you know. Three ball and in the paint, taking shooter really well. Bi, you know, I mean, he's a great player all around. Josh, you know, he's gonna play, you know, his butt off each possession. And I mean, it's just fun competing and just complimenting those guys. You know, uh, just being that relief. That that's what I try to be every night. And a big part of that third quarter was Devontae catching fire. How, how much does it help the offense when he's hitting shots from the perimeter where he was? Uh, it, I mean, it helps. You know, when when all of us are making shots, obviously, but when when Tay is uh, making shots, you know, especially off the dribble. Um, it makes the bigs uh, come up and have to help uh, the guards out, and it opens up the uh, the paint for the for JV or any of our bigs. Um, and I feel like when he's hitting shots, I mean our offense is flowing. Speaking of making shots, Herb, I don't know if you know, but you've made a th at least one three in six straight games. Do you feel more comfortable out there shooting the ball more than you have uh, all season? During this uh, yeah, my confidence is is growing uh, every day. I'm, I'm trying to get some type of work in uh, with Coach Fred. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just that simple. I feel like my confidence is growing, you know, as the season goes on because I keep continuing to put in the work. When you feel like you're open, do you feel um, you don't even think about it? You're just going to go ahead and shoot oh, and yeah. you have the confidence? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, if I'm open, I shoot. And my teammates, I credit that to my teammates and my coaches. They, they keep telling me that even if I miss two or three, you know, they still tell me to shoot the open ones. As much as you shot it, do you? I mean, as much as you work with Fred, do you hear Fred's voice in your head when you're out there on the court? <laughs> sometimes, to get the sometimes if I, if I if I if I have a bad miss or if I miss it, uh, like I can hear him saying "load." You know, <laughs> whatever we had worked on, you know, prior to the game, if I miss a shot, I say that to myself, or I hear him saying it in my head. Do well, you, so you just not look over there? At no, this no, point? no, no, <laughs> not at all. Or well, if you step on that line. Not at all. Right. I'm trying to stay away from that line still. <laughs> still this trying is sort to of stay. a big picture question, but a lot of guys who have a chance to play in the NBA aren't as patient and stick it out in college as long as you did. Mm -hmm. How much do you think sticking around at Alabama as long as you did has helped you to have the impact you've had right away? I oh, mean, it. I can't even describe how it did help. Uh, I mean, it made me grow up um, as a man, like off the court, uh, not even talking basketball. Um, and just being patient. Uh, four years of school, you know, a lot of your 
peers you come in with, they leave and go to the NBA, or might go overseas and start getting paid. You know, the next year you still gotta wake up and go to class. Uh, still gotta go to study hall while they're just doing basketball all year. I mean, it just teaches you to be patient and, uh, I mean, work. Uh, and just hopefully, you know, it, it pans out the way it did for me. I know a lot of guys uh, don't really want to go to school for three or four years, but I mean, my my intentions were getting a degree first and then letting, you know, the basketball piece kind of take care of itself. I wanted to get my education first, and I feel like that just helped me, uh, like, all around on the court. I know to show up and, you know, work as hard as I can. Um, Basketball-wise, off the court, I know to take care of my stuff in the weight room you know, and uh, just take care of my body because if you don't do that four years of school, you might burn out, you know, your third or fourth year. So I feel like, I mean, four years of school helped me. I don't know how it might. Uh, help other people. I don't know if mm-hmm. people can do three or four years of school, but it definitely helped me a lot uh, on the court and off the court. When did you get your degree? I got my degree, well, it was three and a half years, so I got it December 2020. What's it in? Business management. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.